Hi, this is Rajesh from AITC.io and uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how to send uh, and receive that bitcoins using a .NET.js and uh, the objective of is very simple sending creating a two different wallets address and uh, sending a bitcoin from one address to other address so in this the prerequisite is sure you you need to have uh, Node.js then we are going to use the two libraries one is known as a bitcore lib which is being used to create the addresses and the other one is explorer which is used for making a transaction and uh, the other resources which are important for this demonstration is about uh, online resources one is a tp Phuket. it is a uh, worthless but yes uh, bitcoins available on a market or online which is you can use for testing purposes so this done there they are not having any worth but they are used for testing our system and this is where we have a node you can see a full node running which records all the transaction happening on this particular server okay so now uh, to have in the demonstration we have uh, this number of steps so we'll start with the step zero where we are going to set up one demo project and uh, install all required library in that particular project so let's start with this so we have uh, let's make a mk they make a directory known as uh, Bitcoin demo. Let's get into Bitcoin demo and uh, initialize your uh, project for Node.js. It says name is this, version is this, description is this, index is this, test command is this, get to have this. So now when it says, I say yes. Okay. Now I am going to import this project into my atom. So I'm going to open this project in my atom and uh, I have this demo here you can see I have imported into my system and the JS available over there you can see that the information which entered it becomes a JS on the command prompt so now we are going to add uh, for environment we have defined a two library we need a two libraries to execute that so we are going to have those libraries installed in this yeah so now if we have npm install bitcore lib with save command it is going to save the library inside your project so Perfect. So it's installed this library as a 13.15.19 version. Now we're going to install uh, npm install bitcore hyphen explorers. Perfect. Now you can see over there. The library is getting added automatically okay so now we are going to add index.js the project which is entry point for this project let's say index.js now we have set up our environment okay so now the next step is creating a sender and receiver address for sending or transferring a coin from one address to other address so so we are going to use a whiff which is a wallet importable format to generate the addresses so I'm going to demonstrate you how how you can generate your addresses on node prompt itself then we'll use our uh, program to node.js program for doing it programmatically so let's start first import uh, bitcore library and then we're going to use uh, bitcore dot private key using a test net dot to whiff so let me sorry it should be test net so now this you can see this is a wallet importable format is what whiff stands for and this is what it is generating a key for this wallet generating address 
So this is going to use as a private key for wallet folder format. So it has its own algorithm. And when as soon as keep, keep on writing, it is keep on creating a new string. And we are going to use this string to create address in that. So let 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 me go back to our index program and start uh, writing our, our program with this. So let's first we import two libraries. One is Bitcore, other one is your explorer. So these are two libraries. We are going to use an insight as to do a transaction with your bitcore platform so now first we are going to create a sender address which is like sending address sending our messages so i have already defined few key which i am going to use it for future and uh, we are going to reuse going to create other address as a known as a receiver so these are the two address who are going to transact with each other and we're going to interact for the password for your transaction so now let me exit from there sorry and uh, run this program to see what happens when we run this so you can see these are two addresses generated these are the addresses i have been using it number of times so i can go to my so if you see over there this is the place where i'm going to acquire uh, dummy bitcoins for the R R this demonstration so let me go to this website and check how many transaction i made onto this particular address let me write on this you can see over there you can see a qr code and you can see a number of transaction i have done on this so these are the time i have done it keep on showing you what when it was done number of times so i'm going to use it as a part of my demonstration in, in my sending and receiving address and if you want to see all my receiving address also we can check for the how many times it has received that different uh, transaction how many bitcoins it has, it has received so it has a wallet it has a value over 10,000 it has this one and you can see over there that a number of transactions being done on this particular address now so we are going to use insight library of your uh, insight function of your bitcoin explorer and uh, going to do a transaction on this so let me bring back this console so let me explain you a program one by one so this is what we have inside library so this is a insight from the test net which is responsible for doing a transaction so it is the function which is going to send get you get you the list of uh, unindexed uh, unspent in, uh, transactions or you can say un in spent uh, uh, unspent your uh, bitcoins from the sender address as a sender so let me keep on seeing that over there it will give you what is that index of your transaction it is going to use as a it is a transaction object it is going to be from this transaction that means from this index it is going to be happening to address it is going to be 100 we have to transfer 10,000 uh, bitcoins over there from the address is there and then fee is something which you have to give the signing is going to be done by the sender address, private key. Now we're going to serialize it and then we broadcast this to us to the system. If you get the error, we get the error from the system, or if it is a completion, we receive this. So now uh, let me run this, save this program and run this program. Yeah, so you can see over there, sender is this. Receiver is this unspent index is one that means the first index is going to take for the transaction successful broadcast that means transaction has been done now we can use this as a transaction ID and can verify you on my my uh, test net Bitcoin server where we can see all the transactions so this has happened this is that some of incoming transaction this is what has been sent this is a trade it means sent from user to the final to the receiver and this is the fee we have paid or you can say the fee is required to send this and we can see a different uh, receiver and sender over there so total of 5.06 bitcoin has been sent whereas only one has been received by your your receiver now i can i can go back and check my program i can select from sender I can see how many transaction it has been done by this particular transaction so it is already there so I can just click on this 
it is a QR code again and the latest transition is there so right now it is this transition is unconfirmed these two transitions is unconfirmed whereas we have it can see the first transition and the last transition is being done first transition was done today sometime back and this is the last transition we can see over there so that's that's conclude our so let me see that we acquired this we have created the trust to collect the bitcoin we created the transition now we have verified the transition also Thank you very much for watching.